another Behind the Music. We have our special guest, Lakota. Hello, hello. How you doing? So, Lakota, tell the people about yourself. Well, my name is Lakota Gunn. I just turned 21 years old this year, especially actually this month. So now I'm officially 21. I am a musician, an artist, a singer, a dancer, an actor, and I also like to pursue other careers as well. And what was the first thing that led you to music? Honestly, I would have to say it was, it actually started when I was in the womb. My mom always used to put headphones on her belly when she was pregnant with me. And then I was heavily influenced by my grandmother and she uh, really helped me like help me boost up the confidence into music and I started listening to like a lot of oldies music because the music she listened to and I started liking that and like I picked up to that and it's something that's really good because the classics are like always like the best of the best I've also listened to like all things like old and new things like that and I'm just thinking you know different things it depends on how I'm feeling too because music can be a mood, I like how you're feeling, and it can tell you like a message or story that you're trying to convey. So, you're pretty new to jazz hands. Yeah. Um, what's one of the most important things that you've left with coming to jazz hands? First off, I heard about the Music Academy here from a um, another program, I believe. It was a counselor that I've had, and they've recently told me about it. Like I should definitely join, especially because this is my first year. And I would also have to say, like, because it really influences, like, the idea for that. And it's just, you know, that's something I want to pursue for a career. And it's one of the majors that I had in mind. What's a song that you've been listening to recently? Why? Uh, well, one of the songs I've been really listening to was definitely, um, definitely some Beatles songs. I know there's a song, um... Come Together, I know there was Day Tripper, those are a couple beautiful songs that I've been listening to recently because of, I list like how the aesthetic sounds and it really like, it's pleasing to the ear and it has like good messages and it's like really upbeat and catchy and so I've just been really like into the Beatles because they're like a, you know, how influenced like culturally they are, especially from the 60s on to now, you can definitely see the changes in comparison. So that's what I've like really been like looking into a lot and doing a lot of studies. I've also watched the recent documentary, which was fun. It's um, Get Back, I believe. So that's pretty fun. And uh, you know, I've just been like heavily acculturated into music, and I've really wanted to pursue those like kind of aspects, get more into it, like out there as a career. And would you say that the Beatles influence you as an artist and, and a person even? I would have to say, yeah, in a way. Like, I get what the message they're trying to convey, even though, like, even, like, big bands like that, they eventually, sadly, break up because of, you know, you know, uh, personal things. But I would say, like, they've heavily, like, influenced me, and I would have to say that, yeah, they've definitely left a big impact on me. I also, like, listen to a lot of Elvis Presley music, which is, like, really good because, you know, the king of rock and roll, and, like, he has really good catchy music, and... He just really has like a, a stage presence. He has this charisma that oozes with that. And it's something I, it's, I like to look up to and like heavily influenced by. So what are two things you want people to feel when they hear you sing or they hear your music? Mm -hmm. I would honestly have to say it's a kind of like tone of like how I'm feeling or if I want to tell a story or if it's a personal thing that happened I can use music and I can really bring that out there and like one of them being it's something I've been working on myself I have um, three to four songs that I've been working on that are original but I've really been thinking about like the kind of tone like the music I'm sure the lyrics are there but you gotta really have the tone or how I'm feeling that sets a story so make sure the song has purpose and it has a direction on where you want to go. So, final question. If there was an artist or an artist that you would like to work with, who would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, you know, well, I have to say, um, a lot of old artists, it could be either dead or alive, either one. One of them would have been, I would have loved to really work with Elvis or Chuck Berry. Definitely in the rock and roll influences, but sadly they're no longer with us. So I'd probably have to say nowadays I would probably work with Queen, either Brian May, 
a lot of ACDC like Angus Young, Black Sabbath, Metallica, groups like that, and definitely like really look into the rock and roll, maybe blues type of categories. Amazing. And be sure to uh, check out the channel as well. Comment, like, and subscribe to all the recent content that we have. Subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and let us know that you're listening. We'll see you guys later.